Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another Juice tutorial. And today we're just going to take a little break from our normal tutorials to talk about a way that you can access your documentation offline. Now, this is something that I just happened to stumble upon today, and it wasn't quite straightforward for me and it took me a little while to to get everything installed and set up properly and I thought it'd be great just to do a tutorial on it just to make sure that you don't have to go through the same thing I did so if you go into your applications folder okay so if we go in here and I'm gonna do this of course I'm on a Mac it might be a little bit different for a PC so if we go into our juice folder okay or before we go into the juice folder you'll see your juice folder and then if you have any previous installs of juice uh, if you updated it all you you should probably have another folder that says juice old okay I found that this process did not work when I was trying to do it within the new juice folder but it worked okay when I worked when I did it in the juice old folder so if we go in here double click in there now you have a folder that's called Doxygen. Now Doxygen is uh, a, an app that developers use to create documentation so it can be accessed offline like we're about to do. Okay, and I wasn't aware of this before, uh, but this is a tool that uh, a lot of developers use. Apparently it's very widely used. So in here you have this file that's called the Doxy file and this is what actually enables us to download um, our resources that we need in order to create the documentation. And the way that we need to do that is first we need to install Doxygen. Okay. Now I went through a couple different ways and it wasn't quite straightforward. So I found this way, which worked, uh, which worked fine for me. Okay. This is using the command line. I'm not sure if, uh, all of you have experience with the command line, but, uh, if you just open this terminal here, this is this is the command line and then all you have to do is just copy and paste these instructions in okay what this will do this will install uh, another app called homebrew which is kind of a um, it's kind of like the Mac App Store but is for more for like developers and hackers and once you do that then uh, you run this other command here and this will install Doxygen for you Okay. Now, Doxygen isn't like an app that you can just access, you know, the way that you would access a normally a normal GUI application. Okay, you have to access it via the command line. So, if you open up your terminal, okay, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change directories into the this Doxygen folder that that we're in in the Finder here. Okay. So, if you just press CD, that means change directory. And what you can do is, rather than having to type the whole path out, you can just actually drag the folder over here, and this will just show you what path you're in. So what it's doing is it's actually um, taking you into this folder here. Okay? So once you've pressed Enter, then you should see this uh, MacBook Pro Doxygen that just shows that you're actually in this folder right now. Okay? And then... All you need to do is just type Doxygen, okay? Just press Enter. And then it's going to create some files for us. It's just downloading the documentation for us right now. We're just going to wait for that to complete for a second. And what's cool about this documentation is that it's actually a lot more detailed than the API that we find online. So um, it's, it's quite useful, and there's so much stuff in there that... Uh, I could probably be in there forever and never get to the end. Okay, so great. Okay, so now it's it's downloaded everything. So if we go in here, this is just kind of like a, you can think of it kind of like a web page, okay? Like if you were developing a web page for people that aren't aware, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to look for the um, index.html file. Okay, this allows us to build it like a web page. So, so it's like an offline web page, so to speak, okay, for people that don't know. So if you just double click this index.html, and what it's done is it's brought us to this, okay? So you can access this offline and everything. So this is the uh, juice documentation. And now uh, if I go into this class index, then you'll see 
the API as we know it, but there's a lot of other stuff as well. Okay, so that's just in the class index. But you can go and you have class members, you have all of your different functions, you have your type defs, related functions. There's loads of stuff in here that'll keep you busy for a long, long time. Okay, so what I, all I've done is I've just taken it and I've just bookmarked it in the in a folder called juice so I can just access that offline or any time that I need it and that's where I'm going to end this tutorial hope that was helpful helpful for you and I will see you next time